Question number three says that express the number appearing in the following statements in the standard form. So we will take the first statement in which we have been given that one micron, micron is a length measuring unit, to be equal to one over ten lakh meters. So we can write it as one over ten raised to six, which can be written as ten raised to negative six. Because when 10 raised to 6 goes to the numerator, it becomes negative. The power, the sign of the power changes. So finally, we can write it as that 1 micron equals 1 times 10 raised to negative 6 meters. And this is the standard form for 1 micron. Coming to the second bit, we have been given with the charge of an electron. So the unit of charge of electron is coulomb. To convert this into standard form, we have to get the decimal in between 1 and 6. So on counting, we get to know that we have to move the decimal point by 19 places towards right. So this can be written as 1.6 times 10 raised to negative 19 coulomb. Because when the decimal moves towards right, the number of places by which it moves is the number that is to be subtracted from the power of 10. So this is what we get as the standard form for second bit. Coming to the third bit, we have been given with the size of a bacteria. Now to again convert this into standard form, we'll have to shift this decimal point from the given position to after 5. So it is to move by 7 places towards right. So as it moves 7 places towards right, the power of 10 will be negative and that will be negative 7. So 5 times 10 raised to negative 7 meters is the standard form for the size of a bacteria. Now the fourth bit says size of a plant cell is 0.00001275 meters. To convert this into standard form or to express this into standard form, the decimal point must be shifted in between 1 and 2. So it is to move by 5 places towards right. So the answer will be 1.275 times 10 raised to negative 5. Coming to the last bit, which is the fifth bit of this question, we have been given with the thickness of a thick paper, which is 0 0.07 millimeters. We'll have to convert this into standard form. And to do that, we must shift the decimal from the given position to after. 7. So it is to be moved by 2 places towards right. So our answer would be 7 times 10 raised to negative 2 millimeters. And this is the thickness of a thick paper. And this is how we solve this problem. To know more about how QMath can help you become a master of math, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program taught by highly experienced and committed teachers.